This recipe is uh, braised green cabbage. Uh, you can use loads of different varieties of cabbage for this one. I've got a pointed green cabbage here and a Chinese cabbage. These are in season at the moment. The reason that I know that is because I bought these from the farmer's market. Now, I love foods. And one of the elements that I also love is knowing where the food comes from. So the farmer's market is great because you can chat to the people who, if not live and know the farm, they know exactly how the actual vegetable or whatever you're buying has been produced. If you're buying any kind of animal meats, you can ask them what the animals have been feeding on, how they live, is it grass fed? So I know the, uh, the farmer, I've spoken to the guy who actually grew these uh, cabbages. So I'm aware of where they come from. I know they're safe, they haven't been sprayed heavily, so that it's not a toxic product, it's clean and it's hot. So for this recipe, it's really simple. You just chop the cabbages into quarters. It's quick to prepare, it just takes a bit of time in the oven. So you can get a baking pan like that, fill it up, and then you wanna just take one or two onions, sprinkle it over pretty roughly, doesn't need to be all pretty and even, and then get some carrots, chop them any way you like really, and again we've spoken about carrots, now if you cook a carrot it's not quite as good as the raw carrot because the fibre in it starts to break down and it's the fibre that has the, um, the health benefits in the gut, but still retains lots of nutrients, so it's a really good one to use. This is half a cup of chicken broth. This is actually freshly made chicken broth. So I've got a chicken carcass and I've boiled it with a little bit of vinegar for about two or three hours. You can use um, broth that is in the powdered form or in the cube forms, but chicken broth has to be on my top 10 list of health promoting foods. So we'll just pour that on there like that. Gives it a really nice rich taste as well. And then last but not least, back to coconut oil. And this is just making it a more balanced meal. Because at the moment you've just got vegetables, so it's just um, very healthy carbohydrates, but there's no fat or protein then there to make it more balanced. So by balanced, really what I mean is without the coconut oil, it's just carbohydrates. Generally, if you just eat carbohydrates, it will have the effect of raising your blood sugar level a little bit higher. As soon as you add fat, that slows down how your body responds to the carbohydrates. So it will be a slower release of blood sugar. And of course, it's the blood sugar and then the insulin that encourages weight gain. So generally, if there's something that is just pure carbohydrate, I will try to add some form of fat, some form of protein. Okay, so last, salt. Salt's a really good one. You can overdo salt, but I'm definitely of the opinion for two reasons. A, taste, and B, the nutritional value. Sodium's really good, but it goes back to the quality again, quality of salt. Not that nasty white table salt, but good quality sea salt. So sprinkle that on with pepper, so seasoning, whatever you like really. I quite like a, a good amount of seasoning. And then simply, put it into your um, oven at about 180 degrees for about an hour. So the cabbage has been in just over an hour now. I'm gonna take it out because it started just browning on the edges. I did turn this cabbage about halfway through just to make sure that there's evenly coated with the stock and with the oil and it comes out like this. Now you can eat it straight away, but this is also really quite nice cold the next day, so it's quite a good thing to have. Just pack it into a lunch box and you can have that for your lunch. Because generally, again, lunch is where I see lots of people struggle because they're out at work and most of the cafes and places that you can buy food is very carb central. So it is really worth putting in a little bit of um, extra time and effort and actually bringing in your lunch yourself. And this is a really good one to have cold the next day.